created the Viper. Leon Coco was the one who created the Viper, and he also created. He also said the 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 of the we're going to make the military version into the civilian version of the Hummer. And we're going to have stainless steel and everything. We're going to do exactly the way the military has it. We're just going to put it into uh, uh, into the into the general market. That's all he did. And you can have it any color you want to. Any color. You can have a pink, blue, red, orange, purple, polka dot. Any kind of color you want to. Any kind of color as long as you wanted this Hummer. As you wanted this Hummer, it was your Hummer. It was your Hummer to have. That came out with the current car, too. That was actually the car that kind of pulled them out of debt. Because that was a really popular car. Right. It had the old look of the 50s, but it was a new model. Right. And... All right, and and so was the the Dodge Ram truck at that time too, as well the V eight the V ten they had, you know, ninety six, and that was uh, that was twenty years ago. But you know, you don't make the V ten anymore. You don't have it. You know, it got it got the field field prices went up, so the you know so everything declined. But that I'm telling you. Chrysler with the Iacocca, he say he saved that company. He really did. And now uh, we are at a crossroads now because everything now in the from from GM to Ford to Chrysler uh, uh, to um, uh, uh, what uh, to Mini Cooper to uh, to um, to Saturn to. Uh, to the um, uh, even uh, Mercedes Benz now all plastic of drink plus, but not Toyota, not Kia. I mean, they're, you know, and not and not uh, Honda or Honda either. You know, so because again. The bottom line said we're going to put we're going to mandate the passive ring plugs in the vehicles. You know, it's an executive order. He did that, and the only people, the only businesses that challenge this. That challenges was again. I'm going to give you the list one more time. Toyota, Honda, Hyundai, and Kia were the only four, only four manufacturers that challenges. Subaru also tries to play because, by the way, pots of drain plugs on their Subaru. That's correct. Also, don't forget Jaguar, pots of drain plugs. You know, uh, also Ferrari does not either. Ferrari is, is still have their cars. Still made in in Italy, and no plastic drink plugs. However, Porsche does now. Porsche does, and so does Land Rover. Plastic drink plastic drink plugs now too as well. Plastic drink plugs on your on on your uh, Land Rover. Land Rover, and that's a ninety thousand dollar vehicle by the way. Ninety thousand dollars for building a Land Rover, and you're paying for a plastic drink plug. How about that? How about that? How about that one, folks? How about that? Isn't that nice? You're paying a ninety thousand dollar vehicle for a plastic drain plug. Isn't that cool or what? And and that kind of and doesn't that doesn't that comforting knowing that you got a plastic drain plug on a ninety thousand dollar vehicle, and uh, you know, say on your new um, Chrysler Cadillac, a Chrysler Escalade plastic drain plug, a hundred thousand dollar Cadillac Escalade, brand new. I'm talking about. Fully loaded with the leather seats, heather, leather, heather, leather heated seats, um, and you got a basic backup automatic drivetrain, and you also have a, a, a Allison engine, and then you have also don't forget you have um, a, um, a, a, over the, uh, you know um, uh, your, um, your nice luxury for your sunroof too as well, automatic sunroof. Comes with that with a ninety thousand dollar Escalade, and you're paying for a plastic train plug with it. That's your and I don't know if people are aware of what's going on. I don't think they do. I mean, go look. We got the report from Car and Driver magazine, by the way. That's what we got the report from, and that since then has been pulled off. Okay. So I mean, that's we're telling you, we're telling you this because why I care.
I care enough to 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 actually give the information out that people don't even want, or they pay attention to, or they don't, or they don't have, um, uh, they're not informed. They don't want to be informed anymore. And this is why this programs exist. This is why we got you know mercy the states for you to respond because you care enough to be to actually listen to what we have to say and listen to us for we're getting our reports from. And you're seeing the corruption that we're seeing in the news right now. And this is why we have uh, sponsors like you to be part of this network. And we're willing to have you on. And this is what we talk about. We talk about the issues that matter to all people. And they should matter to them. They should matter to them because this is a concern. This is a consumer report we're doing here. Consumer report. This is what we do when there's news Happen. It doesn't matter if it's a tsunami, earthquake, weather. Um, doesn't if it's even the stock market, even with the businesses. Um, even speaking of businesses, by the way, Staples is closed down. Staples is closing down even more stores. Uh, J.C. Penney's has shut, closed down 500 stores. By the way, Sports Authority, four 500 of their stores are closing down. By the way, too as well. Sports Authority is across this country. It gives you an idea of what's happening to America. Will we get these jobs back under Trump? I don't know. I hope we do, uh, but I'm not, I'm not going to hold my breath here. I'm, go, I'm not going to hold my breath. So I'm telling you, I'm fr I'm fearful of this guy. I I I um I'm leery of Trumpy because what he has done so far, um, and that's what I'm uh, concerned with. And so uh, with that being said. Um, anything else you want to add? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Mr. Goldberg. Go ahead. I mean, uh, uh, Coleman. Go ahead, Mr. Coleman. Go ahead. Uh, Ted Cruz has spent his campaign. He's he's already going for um 2020. Uh, but uh, we're he's going to a you're going to have a contested convention supposedly if. The way the way things are going right now, this can go to a contest as a convention because of um, the vote, the the votes, and what you just told us too, by the way, in, in your state of Minnesota, where you have the lowest turnout rate, but however, all the news media said the highest turnout rate ever uh, from Minnesota. So I'm getting it from I'm getting I'm getting false reporting from what Fox News is telling me right now, and you are. And you're in Minnesota, and you're telling me the lowest turnout rate with with young with young with with young voters. But they're saying the Fox News said, but they're saying the highest turnout rate of young voters. So um, I'm going to go with you because you're there. I'm going to go. I'm going to believe you because um, you're you're in a state, and you're not the only person that's come forward and told me this either. We have, actually have four callers call in to me, um, and since. Since Friday, and saying the thing, and saying said have said the same thing too. By the way, and I'm also seeing it from from Twitter as well as as well as uh, Facebook. They're pulsing that they're saying that also Minnesota has the lowest turnout rate with youngest with young voters. However, Fox is saying the highest turnout rate. They're still doing the false reporting of what the American people are actually telling me, the listeners and the viewers, just yourselves. So I'm going to go with you because you're in a state. So I believe you over the news right now. I believe you over the, the what they're telling me in the news right now. And that's that's totally illegal. That's totally a bias. And you know what? Even Bernie Goldberg said, no, don't believe Fox News anymore. Bernie Goldberg, he actually made the book Bias. Don't believe what the news is telling you on national television anymore. Don't believe it because, you know, he's actually making these points out there and he's not letting them speak his mind either. And that's, that, that's not right either. That's not good. That's not what America is about. That's not the America I know. Right. You know, people have an opinion, and they and they have the facts to back it up. Like like uh, like Charles Kenhauer, by the way, he actually argued with Bill O'Reilly on Friday. By the way, I watched I watched it. He actually argued with him, and he challenged he challenged Bill O'Reilly, and Bill O'Reilly said, "No, you're off. You're you're completely off base. That's not true. That not that did not happen." He goes. He tried. He made. He made a great point, and it's like unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And it's unbelievable what was going on here in this country. It's unbelievable. It makes no sense to me at all. We have the 
even with a person with the facts, he still argued with the with the person with the facts. I don't get this. Why would why would a news commentator do this when Charles Kim has the facts, is explain his position, and then Bill Riley attack attacks the person with with having the facts, and he's still not saying that's not true. I, I don't understand how that's possible. I don't get it. I really don't get it. I'm doing a little research here, and it says that uh, Ted Cruz dropped out for one reason is, is that he um, had lost Indiana. Right. That's correct. He did. Another, 